Okay, a uh, couple of little products I want to show you. Um, in sleeping bags. Um, the actual bag itself is a Fox Ventec all season. Uh, it's a four layer bag. It's made out of uh, the Ventec material, which is completely waterproof. A couple of unique features on here that other sleeping bags don't tend to have. Um, the main one being is uh, the four layers. So basically what you've got is four layers. They come on the, their own zip. Um, what you can have is you can have a fleece inner, you can have a nylon inner, which basically all you do is you unzip the, the section, turn it over, zip it back in so you can sleep on fleece or on nylon. You can actually unzip these two layers and take them out completely uh, for summertime use, or you can leave them in, sleep on three of them and just have the top section on. It's got quite a large piece of webbing all the way around it which stops the zips from snagging. It's got a baffle on the outside to stop sort of like the, the draft coming in uh, and it's also got an interior baffle which is that one which stops the heat getting out. It has these little layers here which are stitched uh, all the way throughout the bag. What that enables it to do is the, the segment stays within that stitch layer. It doesn't all, all the, the sort of like the filling inside it doesn't travel up and down the bag so it keeps up obviously the layers insulated all the time. Um, on the retention side of it, it's obviously got the top and bottom um, to go around, around the actual bed chair itself. This is elasticated, so that basically stops that big droop from underneath, uh, you know, underneath and touching the floor and soaking water up, etc. It actually keeps nice and taut. It's also got retention clips, so whatever side you're not getting out of, you can clip it and it stops the zip from travelling, which basically leaves the side you are getting out of free. Uh, to use the crash zips on it. Now, one of the main the main things with this bag in particular, because it is such a, a big bag and it, it's got the warmth qualities about it, they're, they're quite a bulky unit. So getting them back into the, the bag it's provided, providing them when you first buy it, you know, can be sometimes a little bit difficult. But I've got a product here that not really anybody knows about in, in terms of um, what the usage of this this particular product is. But what it's called it's called a dry bag. It's made from like a, a hard wearing nylon material with, with a, a, a waterproof rubber insert and it's got a clear window in it. Uh, what this enables this bag to do is obviously it's quite spacious so the likes of your sleeping bag can go in it very very easily um, but what it's got, it's got a tap at the bottom of it. And what this does, it just basically turns it like so and that will release the air out of the bag. So when you put your sleeping bag into it, these little ribs here you just fold it up and when you compress it all the air within the bag as you, as you sort of like you know put pressure on the top will come out of the bottom so you're almost like vacuum packing your sleeping bag once you've got it down to its compact size you literally turn the valve off like so and that just literally comes over and, and clips in and what you have then is a seal at the top and you've sealed the bottom and it doesn't let any air back into it so it makes your bag a lot more compact and easy to put you know, put away. Uh, the other usage on these is they're completely waterproof so if you're sort of like travelling with your, with your gear on a barra when it's raining your bag's not going to get wet because the last thing you want is a wet bag before you even start your session. Um, if you get to your peg and it's a bit, a bit muddy or a little bit wet you can put your sleeping bag down on the ground. This bag won't let that water through it into your bag. You know, some, some just nylon bags you've got to be careful where you put your sleeping bag down because it'll just soak up the water that you put it onto especially if there's dew on the ground or the, you know, it's been raining, this will stop it. Um, you can also use it for things like clothes, etc. You know, if you want to put your clothes in it, you, know, you can roll them down, push all the air out and make the bag a lot smaller. So you, you, you sort of like carrying less, you know, like volume in terms of space. So it fits on your barras, etc. easier, fits in your bivy easier. Uh, they come in three different sizes. Uh, so you can get one to cater for every type of situation you want, whether it be a smaller sleeping bag, or a large one in this instance. Uh, this is the 90 litre version of it. They retail at 29.99, but very, very robust. Um, if you if your sleeping bag was to roll off your bar and roll into the lake, if it's in one of these, it can literally be in the lake and it will not wet your sleeping bag. That's how waterproof these things are. So what I'll do now, I'll put the put the Ventec bag into this, and I'll show you what it's like when it's compacted down. Okay, right, we've put the, uh, the Ventec inside the, the dry bag now. All we've done is we've rolled the top down, got the two toggles, 
we're literally just going to clip them together like so that's the back top of the bag actually sealed now uh, basically all you do now is you, you just literally compress the, the bag uh, and get the air out of it like so once all the air's come out of the bag like so you just literally just turn the tap which locks it and then that's your bag ready to go it's uh, as you can see it's, it's vacuum sealed the bag it's took all the air out of it and compressed the bag size down very very easy to put it in um, like I say waterproof uh, dead, dead easy to get the bag back out of it and you're not carrying any air making the actual bag bigger so check these little fellas out fox dryer bag like I say you can use them for clothes and all sorts of things you want to keep dry not just for sleeping bags but you know absolutely ideal for this purpose mm -hmm.